Good evening. Why'd I do that? Anyway, you see I have my cast iron pan out, so you know what that means? I'm about to stick it up where? Look, for the last time, I'm not doing that. Anyway, I had no idea what I was going to make for dinner tonight. But yesterday, my friend Amy, she runs one of my favorite social groups. She posted one of these memes about, you know, pick out your favorite food. And she posted one about your favorite kind of pizza. And I'm looking like, you know what? That's a good idea. I'll make some pizza. And I'll make pizza of the barbecue chicken variety. Maybe I should have said a barbecue chicken persuasion because that sounds a little cooler and upscale and it doesn't, huh? Uh, well, it'll still be delicious. I, you know what? Amy's birthday is next week, I think. Maybe I should make her one for her birthday. Mm. Until then, let's get this one started. Now, you're already familiar with how I make chicken, but what you probably aren't familiar with is how I make barbecue sauce. Now, this barbecue sauce is pretty simple. It's basically just ketchup, tomatoes, mustard, dark brown sugar. You can use light, but I like using dark. Dark brown sugar... Um, cinnamon and cider vinegar. You know what? I think I'll just eat some of this. Nah, I better save that for the chicken. When did I get a spoon this size? That's more like it. And, you, you know, this spoon is still kind of creeping me out. Anyway, you're familiar with how I make pizza dough by now. So what we're going to do is add this right to the top of... What? How dare I put cheese on top of barbecue? Yeah, some people do think adding cheese to barbecue is kind of sacrilege, although how dare you is kind of extreme. But, oh, 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 no, 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 here's the thing, here's the thing. See, I'm not putting cheese on top of the barbecue. I'm putting barbecue on top of the cheese. See, it looks fine. Now then. <laughs> what? Oh, how dare you in all caps and 48 points this time, huh? Well, I... How'd you write like that in the comment section? Anyway, you know I like to put cheese on top of my pizzas. <laughs> and I don't care if it's sacri... What? I didn't put cheese on top of the cashew chicken pizza. I explained in that video why I didn't do that. Quit being a troublemaker. Anyway, after this is all... Hold on. Okay, gonna throw some parsley on top of this and then throw it in the oven for 10 minutes. Now that is what I'm talking about. Sacrilege or not, I'm gonna enjoy it. Uh, uh, barbecue chicken pizza isn't the easiest to pick up, but... Barbecue is messy after all. I am going to have to thank Amy a few times for giving me this idea because, I mean, I haven't made barbecue chicken pizza in a while and sometimes I forget how good things taste if I haven't made it in a long time. That is going to do it and you know by now just where to find the recipe. Thanks for being with me and I'll see, what? What temperature did I cook the pizza on? 350 degrees, of course. I, oh, I didn't mention that, did I? Oops. Well, it's in the recipe underneath, so you'll still know. What? It's a fork and knife. What's wrong with? It's sacrilege to eat pizza with a fork and knife. Okay, look, this pizza is a little bit heavier than most, but it just seems heavy because the crust is weak and you don't know what you're doing. You know what? You keep making comments like that. My temperature is going to boil higher than 350 degrees like this oven. Hey! That was pretty clever, wasn't it? Hey. Double middle finger emoji? Where'd you even get that? I, never mind, I don't care.